Jet fuel made from plants, not crude oil, is set to take off. It's called sustainable aviation fuel. The aim is to lower the airline industry's impact on climate change. But if done wrong, experts say it could make matters worse. In November, Virgin Atlantic flew the world's first transatlantic flight powered entirely by sustainable aviation fuel. The fuel that we are using will deliver us about a 70% reduction in carbon emissions versus having flown it on jet fuel. Air travel generates about 2% of the world's planet-warming greenhouse gas emissions, according to the International Energy Agency. It's a growing share, and it's hard to eliminate. Cars can run on batteries. Planes, not so much. Aviation is legitimately much more difficult to deal with because, uh, at least at the moment, batteries are too heavy for long-haul flights. Fuel for long-haul flights does not have to come from crude oil, though. Crude is basically carbon buried underground for millions of years. Burning it releases that carbon into the atmosphere as CO2. Plants, on the other hand, take up CO2 in order to grow. Sustainable aviation fuel comes from plant oil mainly, like soybean or palm oil, or sugar from corn, fermented into alcohol and then chemically converted into fuel. But biofuels have one big problem. The fundamental issue with biofuels is they take an enormous amount of land uh, to produce. And if you're taking prime farmland that is currently growing crops for food and diverting that to fuel, that food needs to be replaced somewhere. If crops are used as fuel instead of food, farmers may turn forests or grasslands into farms to make up the difference. That's worse for climate change, not better. How big a problem is it? Researchers have been arguing about that for more than 15 years. In the mid-2000s, then-President George W. Bush signed laws requiring the use of biofuels in car and truck fuel. Since then, one-third of the entire crop of U.S. corn and soybeans is turned into fuel each year. Estimates of how that's affected greenhouse gas emissions vary widely. In some studies, biofuels are still better than fossil fuels. According to a number of studies, uh, it, it's about 30 to 40 percent cleaner than gasoline. But others say corn and palm oil-based biofuels in particular are as bad or worse than gasoline. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency put out a report in June. They conclude it's uncertain, but that there is definitely a risk uh, that biofuels are actually making climate worse. And that's before sustainable aviation fuel really ramps up. The United States produced about 60 million liters of it in 2022. The goal is to produce 130 billion liters per year by 2050. That's nearly double the entire U.S. biofuel industry's production of car and truck fuel in 2022. And since that year's output consumed more than one-third of the U.S. corn and soybean harvest, there's real concern about scaling up production for aviation. We need to make sure that it doesn't eat into uh, the food supply, um, uh, that it's like the, the waste product, like the stalks, say, of, of corn, not the corn itself. The cooking oil from, uh, say, fish and chips, um, you know, instead of throwing it away. But there's just not enough used cooking oil available to fuel the world's air travel. And tech to make fuel from waste products is not ready yet. Researchers are looking for other crops and other ways to get sustainable aviation fuel off the ground without crashing the food supply.